Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Stallings. You know me here on YouTube as MarauderX, and as always, I'm your host for Operation Recap, where I take some of the stories from OperInfo.com and throw them here at YouTube. You know, it's my thing. It's what I do. Starting off today, just a couple of quick stories. We've got a big one from Nintendo. They had a Nintendo Direct on 12-18-2013 where they showed off a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I was actually really dumbfounded by the amount of stuff that they threw out at this Nintendo Direct. I'm kind of interested that N Nintendo is giving out content in this way. I'd like a, to be a little bit more mainstream. Unless you're subscribed to the Nintendo YouTube channel or you're liking them on Facebook, you're probably not going to hear about most of this from Nintendo directly. You're going to hear it from secondary sources like us. And this amount of information, kind of, kind of entertaining. So they talked about a lot of lot of stuff. Uh, they're bringing out. They brought out screens of Yoshi's New Island. A little video of that. New thing for Bravely Default. What else do they do that is is uh, blowing my mind? Kirby Triple Deluxe got some screenshots. Uh, new Chibi Robo. That's really entertaining. I was a, a fan of that franchise. Uh, more Cranky Kong for Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I got a little bit of a, a, a bad rep, you know. Anyway, uh, NES Remix, which looks really entertaining. Dr. Luigi. Rosalina will be in Smash Brothers. That was kind of a surprise, because they're throwing out a lot of characters that I would not have expected to be in this round. So I'm kind of, kind of wondering how many more they're going to throw into this before it gets a little crazy. More Mario Kart 8. But the, the biggest and kind of craziest surprise was the announcement of Hyrule Warriors. Tecmo Koei of, of Dynasty Warriors fame are taking Legend of Zelda franchise and they're making a Dynasty Warriors-esque game with Zelda. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's I, I will admit, I'm a huge Dynasty Warriors fan. I have not played any since, like, 5? Extreme? Something like that? Because after a while they started doing the, the regular number and then they did the extreme afterwards. I, I, I stopped. I stopped playing because I mean, they started getting to be kind of the same. But I I spent hours. I have a copy of Dynasty Warriors Four still, as that one was the first one that I really got into, and it was one of my favorites. I spent hours on that, hours upon hours, and seeing the the working video, which they, I'm I'm assuming is just a tech demo, really, because the the enemies had no programmable AI; they just stood there. It just looked like a showcase of what could be done with this. Even the title, Hyrule Warriors, is not a confirmed title. It's still a working title. And they say that in big parentheses underneath, saying, we don't know if this is going to be the name yet. Don't, don't hold us to this. But that's impressive. That's, that's, that, that, that's a thing. Nintendo doesn't usually let other companies play with their properties. Like they tried that, you know, back on the CDI with Link, and we get things like "I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok." No. So yeah, we have all of the the stuff from the Nintendo Direct there. Go check out all of those videos. We've got several of them up here on our YouTube channel. Go go check all of that stuff out. It's it's impressive. Uh, again, I just wish they would do it a little more, you know, mainstream. Get it out to more people other than getting it out to a couple of avenues and then letting people like us. Or no, better yet, just, just do that. More hits for us, you know. Anyway, uh, second story for this week is Marvel vs. Capcom is gone. Uh, if you had not purchased it on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live by the 17th, uh, sorry, uh, you, you can't buy it. They've, they have removed the digital version from the store. Uh, probably due to licensing agreements between Marvel and Capcom not being able to continue uh, continue the, the digital license for that. Uh, you can still buy a hard copy if you find it. It's still a thing, so it's not like it's if you don't have it by now, you're never going to get it. But it is a little disconcerting that it is not that old of a game and it is already being pulled from digital retail. Also raises a bunch of questions about the nature of digital retail of if this licensing agreement ends, what happens if I lose the copy of the game? I've already paid for it, do I get it back? Some places yes, some places no. It all depends on the their their digital infrastructure. So raising a lot of questions, not a lot of good questions, but uh, also sad to see that it's not on 
the uh, the digital front. I mean, I have a hard copy of the original Marvel vs. Capcom 3, not the Ultimate. So, uh, I, I don't know if the DLC is still available, or if that has also been pulled. I have not checked on that personally. But, it's it was one of those things that kind of surprised me. Really kind of surprised me. So, it, if you haven't bought Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, look for a hard copy. That's That's really... Really, the long and short of it now. So, and the last story for this week is not really even a news story. It's something we are doing here at Rainfall. Uh, we have been talking about uh, what our most anticipated games of 2014 are, and most of the staff have gone through and done articles of what they are looking forward to next year. It could have been stuff that was announced at E3 and may not even come out next year. There are a lot of we don't know if this is the date we're hoping it's next year type titles. But there are a lot of things that the staff is really interested in for next year. Next year looks like it could be a fantastic year for gaming. So we have a bunch of articles, each of us personally, what we thought. I don't have an article, but I figure I'm going to do a video for that here. So I will do a what I'm most anticipating out of 2014. So that, that will be a thing. Uh, there will be a lot of video content from me uh, coming up through the end of the year because I've got a lot of stuff I need to get done before the end of the year. So expect to see my face several more times before New Year's. So uh, there, I, I will do a, a most anticipated, but I strongly suggest you guys check out the other staff members' uh, staff picks of 2014, what they are really interested in. It gives a little bit of a background of what we are as gamers are, are looking for and what we are interested in as well as what really gets us excited in terms of how it a game is being presented uh, for a future release. So go check out those articles. We've got a ton of them. We have I've, In the, the video description, I'll have the link to the one that links to all of the staff, because we conveniently put that all in one place. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, for that one. <laughs> it made my life so much easier than copying all of those links into the video description. Anyway, that has been this week's recap. Uh, check out all the stories below, and like I said, uh, stay tuned to uh, Brainfall for more news, reviews, previews, and what have you uh, through the end of uh, 2013 and beginning of 2014. We look forward to seeing you guys in the new year, so uh, take care, everyone.